Welcome back to the city of Damascus in City Skylines. And today we will keep working on our new suburb, or I should say on our new suburbs, because one of the things that I've mentioned at the end of the, la uh, the last episode was that this felt like too big for just one episode. And what I'll do, I'll basically show you how this will look like. So this will basically be one suburb over here, another one over there, another one over this side. And I'll bring you along with some of these decisions. I won't show you like me drawing the suburbs and things like that, but I think I want you to give an idea on how I go about it and what is uh, needed to finish this. So the first thing I'll do, I'll draw the suburbs in here and then we'll be right back with the next step. And here we are. So we do have those three uh, suburbs laid out now. So we have the Lookout Hills, uh, mostly because people would come here in the past to just watch the fish go into the dam. And we have the pointer. Well, this is the pointy ends in here. I thought it's a fitting name. And the Strawberry Park, just because the game named it Strawberry Park and i like it <laughs> so no not a big uh not big thought going into that uh the other thing that i would do i can do it a little bit later is basically extending the the park all the way around all these regions as we discussed before because colossus park will be just uh embracing this whole area and i think that would be quite nice for for us here so the next step in the process for me now is basically if i look at let's open a menu in here uh we look at leisure in this area so at the moment we don't have quite a lot what we have is the um what's the name of that building i always forgot courthouse we have the botanical garden we have the tax office in here and we don't have much more than that. So what I'm thinking is to take a look at some of the buildings that we have available in here. I don't want huge buildings like, for example, I was looking at the um, Cathedral of Plenitude, but this is too big for this area. I, I don't know. This is not one of my favorite buildings and I don't think it fits in here as well. So I may keep that away from that, but I'll look into this and think about what might fit and not fit in here. Something comes to mind as well, uh, which is basically building specialization. I do want to make this area a self-sustaining, self-sufficient buildings. So I'll mark that down in there. In terms of other areas, I don't feel like we need to change anything else or add any other specialization in here. This would be quite a lot of uh, residential. We'll, we'll still do some commercial in this area and maybe some offices depending on demand. But I feel like the one that I want is self-sufficient buildings. Because this will look good in this area that will be surrounded by by the river so we'll see that how that looks as well i'll take a look at these buildings and i'll come back and show you what we we have i might also remove the trees from the from the roads uh, here and there and might move most of them into the the park area because we'll have some buildable areas or maybe i'll move some into the encore garden in here because this is a park as well all right, so it's mostly done and I will show you how that's looking now. This is a little bit better. We have a little bit more uh, leisure in here. There are a few areas in there that doesn't look like it, but we do have it. I don't know why the overlay is not showing now. Come on, there we go, yeah. So we have um, some parks all around so these are the basically vanilla parks with the exception of this one which is a vertical farm 
from the I think this is from the high what's that called? One of those names that I can never remember. High tech. Um yeah, that's from the high tech content creator pack. I just don't remember where it is in the menu over here. Oh I think that's what's here. There we go. Yeah, and it's definitely the high tech. So very vertical farm. That's the building that we have in there. And let me show you how that looks like. I think these will fit nicely with the self-sufficient buildings that we add in here. That'll be really nice for this area. Also added a few more kind of tourist attractions in there. So the aquarium in here, just next to the uh, underground metro. I think that'll be really good place for that basically and I would just name it Strawberry Metro Station because this is the Strawberry Suburb and that'll be the main stop for the area and in here where is I've added a few more things as well uh, we have yeah some uh, parks in here so the statue of wealth in the friendly neighborhood although we have the park in here we do have this metro station and that'll be the lookout metro station i hope let's go just make things easier for us in the future and i don't want a lot of buildings around this area we still have it but because we have the exit from the highway in here and the entrance over there i'm thinking about like i, I talked through this uh before in my thought process on that and i'm a little bit worried about the traffic in here so i'll be careful in this area and over here just two extra buildings we have the uh, bird and bee haven i think that'll be quite a nice place for that especially that we have the rock and the those trees at the back there and then we have the statue of industry in here which is just opposite to the industry itself so it makes sense to have it there and i think that'll be nice for us as well then the next step is basically we have to look at services and zoning right so in terms of services what i usually do i start looking at for example the healthcare and the death care then i go through emergency services police department and in this case banks i will also work on the post office and education across the area so we do have to keep in mind we have three suburbs and we will have to service those suburbs we are using everywhere like if we get this building uh we'll see that we are servicing only this suburb so this is something that i'll keep in mind if i if i'll keep doing this which i will i will basically add one of the service for each suburb it's also good practice uh to do that because i'll just i can do a mix between the medical clinic and the doctor's office yeah i think we can do that and we will do have to keep in mind that this area is pretty far away as well so what i might do is basically go here add one there i'll add one to this suburb i don't know if one would be enough but let's start with one and we'll see what we can get there and for this one i might actually add two because this is kind of a little bit of a larger suburb i'll get one here and then i'll replace with the doctor's office i'll get one over here and another one maybe this corner might be good enough and then i'll go with the death care for death care as you know i like the car preservatories they look better and they have a larger capacity as well and i think it fits quite well in the area so i'll get that got one on each of these suburbs i'll go over here I might again i might get 
to on this suburb just because of the huge distance that we we have in here just go at the end there really and i'll do the same with the farmhouse and then uh, bank police department out and i'll come back okay, so all the buildings are in for services so at least one in each suburb so one of the things that i need to take a look now is basically going to the building for example prior preservatory and i will still use uh, the restrictions so for example this one will only service lookout hills and there we go that is done and i'll change the vehicle in there as well and i'll go through all the services in the area and make sure that they service uh, this exactly area with the exception of a few for example this one i might do the uh, lookout hills and the strawberry uh, park so if we go in here i can get where is that there we go lookout hills and strawberry park it's close enough so it makes sense for me to do that at least in my mind and and that's how i usually set things up and all done so basically what i do uh, i just show you the buildings that i put down um this area around here i've added a high capacity elementary school and a high capacity high school because there will be high demand in here or everything will be high density there was a comment on the previous video that i should do some low density and what i'm thinking is that this area might be low density i think that is a, a nice place for that anyway so we'll keep that low density and this will still be a high density as this is still kind of center of the map in here going towards the, the edge i know it but uh, for the town this is a uh, pretty valuable lens and that'll be high density there for sure now i've also done just these two as the police headquarters and the fire station those are the the big buildings for police and uh fire station and they are servicing the three uh, suburbs in here but we do have other buildings around the place so we cover the whole area now the next part of our journey here is to start adding some um some zoning and what i'll do i'll start well let's start with the low density over here we know that we have low density so let's jump straight into it i might do some commercial in here just so they have place to to buy things maybe i think so and i think i will let them build around here as well might stop there but that'll be uh good enough for them i'll also keep going all the way over here might leave some gaps along the place just so we add those uh, commercial buildings I might actually go commercial around here we do have some uh, demand for commercial so why not in this area I might start like some sort of transition into the high density and maybe over here as well we do something like that like this and let's fill the these gaps with some low density commercial in there as well i missed a couple of spots in here there we go and then this area will be high density now i'll leave this in there and oh there are two buildings that i completely forgot about let's go there and add them together which is basically the elder care and the child care i think this would be extremely helpful for us and i want these to have coverage in this whole area we have one there that covers the rest of that area and one over here might need one in the middle here i'll go 
here so we have very good coverage in that so in here we have over there i might need just one more around here and we should be good i would love to have these under the train line there i don't know if that will fit so let's take a look maybe try to move these back a little bit no nope. here no nope. No, it doesn't fit there. All right. So we can potentially just go next to the elder care and happy days. All right. So these buildings are in there. We are starting to see some growth in here, which is really what we want to do. But I want to start bringing our main uh, area in here. These would be all self-sufficient residential buildings as we know and again just on this side on the outer side here there'll be a park in there and we'll do that in a second i might leave some space for some commercial buildings in here as we don't have anywhere uh, or maybe i could do just here i think that's what i would do have some commercial along the the train line here and we should be good to go i believe we're putting like a lot of pressure on the uh, demand for the city we are building quite fast so what i'll probably do i will speed things up slightly and then i'll wait while we wait for things to build and this to balance itself out because it's still building over here and i'll do the zoning for the park as well around this and then we uh, will be back with more zoning and then more uh, starting with the detail as well and it has grown and everyone has moved in and we are now at 779 or oh, 279 280,000 people there we go so we've moved we, we got like a new uh area all built up in here as well so this is looking quite good and i like that we have the lower density over here i think this will look good when we finish all of this area what i'm thinking now is basically we actually have demand for both residential quite a lot and some commercial what I'm thinking is that we do kind of a corridor of commercial around the uh, the train, uh, the railway over here and the highway as well. And I would also like, let me start doing this. I'd also like this over here and potentially some offices in this area and maybe we finalize that with um some commercial as well i think having these just in front of the tax office makes a lot of sense that's why i'm adding that in there and i'm also thinking that we might hmm, we might have this area or maybe this whole block here as commercial as well and i think we would be good yeah i'll have to add obviously the zoning for this area and i don't want any buildings growing under the, the tracks over there so I'll remove this from here maybe remove that one as well this i think even this yeah we can have any anything growing in there so this will go well i think i'll keep this open and we do we just have some trees in there that is all right i have this in here i might oh that'd be tricky but i want something in here as well maybe we do all the way over here and over there then that makes sense to have a little bit more there you go i think that'll be 
enough here to wrap these uh, buildings over there. And then along the highway and the metro in there, I'll add some zoning in here. I might do it over here. They'll grow all towards these roads in here. So that'll be all right. And I'm now thinking if we do some offices around here or if we do more Hmm. I have a feeling that we'll need more commercial, so I'll do this. And we should be alright there. I actually want to add a little bit more in here. Just like that. And in terms of commercial, I think we might be good. Obviously, there are several areas here where we don't have anything at all that I just might add some things. Like here, for example, I just want to dot things around so we don't have like one area where we're missing quite a lot of uh, commercial. But I do want to focus on residential in all this area anyway. Depending on how we go with demands, we might go back and do this. So what I'll start doing then, I will zone all around this area. I'll zone like the whole pointer, maybe, and might do of areas like this on some commercial, just so they have easy access for that. And everything else will be high density for this area. We do have high demands as well, so yeah, that's where all of this is coming from. And I'll zone all, actually, I'll zone everything, and then I think that'll be easier for us, and then I'll be back to show you what that looks like. Zone all this area, but what I would do while this grows and before I jump into the next section, because otherwise we'll definitely have like a, a tremendous hit <laughs> Uh, not hit wave, but a death wave uh, each year when people start getting older. So what I'll do, I'll potentially go into these spots that we have here and that's already built. And I'll start doing some detailing, adding some trees and some nice things there so it doesn't look so bare. We're still midway through all of this, but I want to show you a few things. So this is the area that I have zoned so far. And as you can see, there is a lot of place that is still will take some time to grow buildings, but they will happen eventually. But what I want to show you is, for example, the high school. So in here, we still have some capacity. But if we look at the high school, where is that? Over here. That's the high school. Well, this high school is at the limit. And we have a high school, elementary school, I should say. <laughs> I'm saying the wrong things. It's also at the limits in there, which means that this area over here is quite under pressure for more schools and we can help them. If you look at overall uh, availability throughout the city, it's in the green, but it's like it's close to the yellow. So I have to keep an eye on this. Usually it doesn't make sense to add a lot of schools like one next to the other. But what we could do, we could see, well, we have one over here, another one all the way over there. So something in between there would be good. So just next to the park here, that would be really nice. And the same around this area, like we have here, here and there. If I add another school over here, that might help as well. For the high school, we also have one in here, which is almost at capacity. But as we've seen, we do have one at capacity over there. So let's take a look at on the other side. We kind of, we are at the limit, like very, very close to a limit. What I'm thinking is that we might add something closer to this region, like maybe something around here and then we get some uh, people moving into this area and they can go 
to the schools around here. So hopefully this also tells you a little bit my thought process in there and how I decide where to put the services and why I put them there. So while I'm doing this, I've also removed all the crossings from all the junctions and made it uh, a standard size as well. All um, so when you have like four lane, four lane, we are doing 18. And when you have a uh, two lane here, we are doing 16. So just keeping that as standard as fast as we can. So yeah, I'll keep adding the, the zoning and um, I'll be right back with you. And we'll talk about the buildings being abandoned as well. And I'll explain what you can do about that and why that's happening. Okay, so let's check in before we get into detailing and analyze this area. I've completed the zoning and as you can probably notice, I've added a lot more uh, commercial and offices than I mentioned initially. And that's basically because of demands. There is a lot of demand for both industrial and uh, commercial. And I'm making sure that we look for those demands and uh, get them all places to work. Unemployment has grown a little bit, which is not unexpected with the amount of residential zoning that we are adding in here. I'm actually thinking in going back a little bit and add even more offices in this area over here, just like so. I think that will be a little bit more beneficial. This area, well, offices usually reduce traffic as well because they don't need like uh, trucks delivering anything and that will help with traffic in this area as well, which for now, it's been quite all right. Some people still moving in, so you can see in some place like a little bit of a queue, but it's all going really well. And this is growing. So we are now at 300,000 people. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a huge boost in population. We'll get a lot more until we finish, but I will uh, start working on detailing at crossings, all those things. I'll probably start with the park around, then detail the parks inside, and then we will um, come back for a quick overview on everything and some highlights and then we will move away but before we do that just my comments on why buildings are being abandoned and what we can do about that so basically if you look close by you can see lots of buildings these are all commercial there you go and if you look at the reason in here is basically because education was too low so why if the building just grew up like just grew and that's a lot of people around here every time people move to a city usually that is uh they, they move with lower education and if you look at the education level here you can see that there is quite a lot of people not educated yet if you look at high school even more people in this area and university is everyone basically that takes a lot more time to to do one of the things that we could do actually if you look we have 35,000 eligible people and just 9,000 capacity of on, on our university so we could start thinking or about another university there you go we are almost at capacity in here or how to make a lot of money <laughs> or adding those smaller uh, university buildings as well but what i think i would do just to help us out with the Ooh, we could do a high capacity university we haven't done that anywhere and we do have the space in here i'll do it right in the middle there i think that would be quite cool and i'll do a public library i think around here and i want to see how that impacts the education here this will speed things up and people will get educated a little bit faster uh, if you look at here we can see that people are starting to use it and they will 
uh, use, the more they get high school education, the more they start using this as well. But then as they get educated, we'll be able to supply all those buildings with the workers that they need. For example, this one is actually quite good. It has more people there except for the educated ones that is still really low. Uh, but we can start providing more and more people to those buildings and this will go away. It takes time. There is nothing actively that you can do other than waiting, uh, especially for the added schools and high schools and university to your city. So keep an eye on that and that will solve itself out. I think I have a feeling that this is already going away, but we'll probably see more uh, some of those issues popping up more and going away again. But yeah, keep an eye on that. And as you can see, we still need more well-educated people to work in here and educated as well. The more they get educated, the easier they will get. And a final check on the schools here. We are okay over there. Okay, over there, we had some issues around here. We are still at capacity over there, but we've added another one over here. Yeah, this one is good. So I think we just like I, I, we are at the right level there. So it's just waiting, and we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. And just like that, we are back. So. I'll start here because sometimes like we feel like we have to do these huge areas where everything looks massive and there is a lot happening and I'm having so much fun building these smaller parks. They're just like, especially the amusement park, they, these small ones, they, they feel like those uh, kind of suburb in parks and they're just amazing i think they look so so good and i quite love it we I, i've just added some of the buildings that you would expect in this area like bumper cars carousel uh the viking boat or something like that and the ferris wheel because you already have that so it looks pretty cool but look at this this is massive. Now, before I show you how many people we actually got in here, let me know in the comments how many people you think we've added to the population since the beginning of the episode. Uh, and while you type that, I will show you that we've done indeed the park all around the, uh, well, all, all around here, basically. And this is now a five-star park. We have some really nice details in here. What I've done in some areas, you can see you have more um, salt plants or plants placed in a thoughtful manner, I should say. <laughs> and then it goes all around like that. And then you go, keep going around and you have some areas where you have just like native trees and for example in here that we had all of this I stopped and just let it grow and keep it a little bit wild and then we go back to having those um, lines of plants and flowers and things like that just to make things a lot nicer also added all the details crossings and things like that so as you can see everything in there everything working and also any ideas on traffic let me know as well in the comments how many percent you think we might have but this whole area is now built up and we started with 254,000 people we can't have 352,000 almost 100,000 people added to this area there are other areas that have grown along the way, but we have 43,000 over here and 18, almost 19,000 over here and 19,000 over here as well. So roughly like 
60 something thousand in here and areas around have grown as well in terms of jobs we still have plenty of jobs available unemployment is the minimum we can have uh, we are still having quite a massive amount of people uh, going to study elementary school has been slowed down a little bit which is great because that means that everyone is moving to high school and university is still that is a massive amount of people that can go and get educated but that will happen uh, within a uh, given time basically we've also did this other park we have a water tower in here i had to add a couple more water towers there is one over there i can't remember for the life of me where is the other one but that is another one that i put somewhere else i'm pretty sure and i've added an extra uh, water treatment plants in there as well and we are now all sorted with water electricity sewage maybe our garbage is pretty good as well so we are all sorted in terms of land value this is fantastic in this area as you can see pretty high land value especially in this area that we've been working so hard in the past few episodes so really really happy with all of this as well we have our banks going around our bank there we go they are doing their rounds um i won't bother too much in adding like too many banks in there we should be all right we also have some mail being collected and distributed along the way and yeah we are working really well now traffic we are at 81 percent so hope you got it right there are a few areas that are quite busy as you can see we knew this main road here would be pretty busy you get some times uh these a little bit backing up but then you just start moving again it's just really busy a lot of cars going through that and same thing over here in this area so not a big deal uh, at all for us and i believe let me just double check yeah i've added a couple of traffic lights time traffic lights in here so we get this moving so you will see cars stopping over here and waiting for the traffic lights to open that is just how traffic lights up, uh, work, right? <laughs> but that is definitely some uh, that'll be uh, a queue in there. But as soon as the lights open, as you can see, all the cars are through and it's all working quite well. But yeah, this area has been massive, massive. Having looks like a death wave, a lot of people dying, a lot of death symbols all over the place yeah uh, or hopefully our healthcare will take care of that and we will be able to grow again but this area is looking really good we have our three new suburbs in there uh, we have our low density on the left uh, as we mentioned before public transportation i think it's actually good to show you around this has been like a massive uh, amount of people using that so 6600 people using it i've renamed this to the pointer because this goes to the match uh, the pointer suburb and that is a lot of people utilizing this i've been looking at that making sure that we have enough lines in here this is still biggest line we've ever had um, a lot lot of people utilizing this every single time and just out of curiosity where are we now if you look at sunken metro station which is quite busy we have 3000 people per week using that so we had more we had 3.6 3.8 uh, reduced a little bit 
I think giving more options and more jobs around that helped quite a lot. So yeah, but really, really happy with the outcome. I hope you've enjoyed that as well. Let me know in the in the comments what you think. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, and if I have a suggestion on what we should build next, because well, this corner here is kind of done, and we need to move on to other areas. I have one idea, but I'm really keen on hearing what you have to say, and maybe we try to implement that and see how that goes. For now, just a big thank you to everyone. Thank you for your likes, thank you for your comments, suggestions, and keep in mind that we do have a Discord server and we have a really nice community of around 100 people in there, lovely people always sharing some findings, some screenshots, asking questions, helping each other. It's just really, really nice uh, way of getting to know each other as well and having a chat with all of you. Uh, consider joining that, the link is in the description. Also have Twitter or TikTok, which is growing almost 50,000 people following over there as well. And thank you a lot for every single one of you. I really, really appreciate all the support. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.